In the same way that you can create subfolders for files, you can create sub namespaces for code. For example, this item class is in the app namespace. Let's add a sub namespace called models. As with namespaces, you can call sub namespaces whatever you like, using letters, numbers and underscores. Namespaces are separated with a backslash. To create an object of this class, as before, we just prefix the name of the class with the full namespace. Again, separated by backslashes. And when we run this code, it creates an object of the namespaced class. You can, of course, create several levels of sub namespaces, just as with subfolders for files. You can create as many levels as you like. So let's add another sub namespace. And note how we don't put a leading or trailing backslash in the namespace declaration. Then we also need to add the sub namespace here when we refer to the namespace class. This is just like referring to a file with its full path. And if we run the code again, there's the object of the namespace class. Sub namespaces are useful for organizing your code. If you have a lot of classes, you can organize them in whatever hierarchy you like. This is something that the Laravel framework does a lot, for example. Pretty much all the classes inside Laravel are inside several levels of namespaces.